Hey everyone, welcome to another Subito training video. Uh, in this one, we're going to be looking at hitting different distances on a Subito pitch on a consistent basis. Um, there's two drills to this. There's one that hits the halfway line, then one that hits your opponent's defensive line. Uh, each drill has three stages. Uh, the first stage requires one player. The second stage, you're using 10 players and seeing how many you can get on the line. Uh, and then the third stage, if you want to, is to add a timer. So Maybe give yourself 10 seconds to hit all 10 players. Um, with this drill, polish your players, make sure they are polished because you can hit the line consistently and then all of a sudden you'll start to not be consistent. That's probably because your players need uh, a repolish. So, yeah, as I said, uh, start with one player in the first stage. This is just to get used to the distance. Uh, once you feel consistent and you feel comfortable with the distance, then move on to the 10 players uh, and move through the line to see how many you can hit. Uh, with this, you're probably going to get a few that are a little bit off the line or um, a little bit too short. Again, be kind with that. If it's just a few centimeters short, then that's still pretty good. If you're miles out like that that one there, uh, then you're going to want to redo. I saw my hand move to restart the whole exercise there, but uh, kind of clawed it back towards the end. But again, don't, don't be too harsh on yourself. Just let... The best thing to do is just move through the players and see what you can do. Once you've done the halfway line, feel free to move on to the uh, opponent's defensive line. It's a longer distance, so again, if you're doing this after doing the shorter distance, make sure you get used to the longer distance. It might take a little bit of time. Uh, so yeah, use the one, one player. Once you're used to that distance, move to the 10 players, uh, and then yeah, just cycle through these to see how many you can get close to your opponent's defensive line. Um, I find this one a bit trickier with the length, with the I don't know the longer length, um, so I'm kind of a bit off here and there, uh, but it is what it is. Like I said, I found this really useful when I first came back because I wasn't sure about my distances, and uh, this just made me more consistent. Uh, one thing about this drill it is a little bit like the homework you don't want to do, it can be a little bit boring at times, but it is actually really worth it. But probably best in bite-sized chunks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.